Alright, so today I'm beginning something that I've wanted to do for the longest time. And it is my uh, freediving course and today we are with Black Fin Freediving from Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Let me introduce you to the legend. He holds like three records in Mexico. His name is Pepe! Hey <laughs> so this is Pepe and this is hey, Maria hi. and Lisa of course. You guys know Woo! Lisa. Back, baby. She's back. You never left. I know. <laughs> what, are we yeah. gonna do? what are we doing here today? We're going to learn how to relax, how to breath hold, how to understand the feelings our body brings. Hopefully, we can find the crocodile as well and oh, come alive, alive no. from it. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> excited. Let's get into it. Let's go. First time in the water. Welcome to free diving, level one, day one. We are taught basic techniques to start, such as duck dive, how to breathe up for our static breath holds, and then how to recover when we come out of the water. Hook. Hook. <laughs> After learning recovery breath techniques, we then learn to assist each other in case of motor failure or blackout. I mean, how about those blackout acting skills? After learning the relaxation, diving, and recovery techniques, we then took some time just to enjoy this beautiful cenote. And then we saw the croc. So it turns out the croc isn't a joke, and it's a saltwater croc. Wow, look at those teeth. But then we got distracted because it started raining, and look how beautiful the rain looks while underneath the water. Turns out the croc didn't like the rain and jumped in the water too. Ooh, okay, enjoy croc footage. So it turns out this prehistoric dinosaur was super curious and playful that day. Although my heart rate was definitely 180 BPM filming this. Quite the display of calm and control in the face of something that's potentially sizing you up. And back home we go. All right, so we just got back to the car now from free diving. We went out and Pepe was like, okay guys, watch out for the crocodile. And we're like, ha ha ha, so funny. But it's obviously not gonna be a crocodile until we look up and sure enough, this crocodile's posted up on this rock. You saw the footage, <sighs> completely unreal. I've never experienced anything even remotely like that. Pepe. Yes. How often do you get to interact with the, um, the croc like that? Once every two years. Wow, so today, so today we're pretty lucky, I would say. Yeah, we feel super happy. Yeah, I'm stoked. Lisa, what do you think? What do you think? Did you think you're gonna be swimming with a croc was, today? And, no, and <laughs> so bizarrely, Mark and I felt so calm and at peace swimming next to a crocodile. <laughs> That's because Pepe was just like, <laughs> yeah. No. I would have been absolutely running while swimming for the hills. Yeah. If Pepe wasn't there, just like gliding beside the old croc. Pan Panchito. Panchito. Panchito, Panchito. Oh. The friendly croc. Not to mention all the other amazing things that happened today. The fish, birds, and the amazing diving through the caves and everything. What an unreal day. I'm in love with free diving. I can't wait to experience, experience it again tomorrow. Morning of day two was spent in the classroom and we learned what happens physiologically to our bodies while holding our breath under the water. All right, one thing we learned so far in this course is the mammalian dive reflex. And that is when you submerge your face into cold water or when you just hold your breath and your heart rate goes down. So basically I've learned how to control my heart rate. <laughs> Super elevated <laughs> stuff. That's oxygen 98. My heart rate is 88. Okay, now I'm gonna bring down my heart rate. You ready?
That was a lot. <laughs> you brought it That's down so much. 74. Clip me. I just had a coffee, so my heart rate is going to be through the roof. <laughs> 70. <laughs> 71, nice. 88 to 71. Here we're learning the Frenzel equalization technique, which is used by controlling your epiglottis, your soft palate. Okay, so right now, I, I should be coming out of my mouth. Yeah. Nope. All right, today is day two of the dive course, and we are at the Garden of Eden today. I've never even heard of this snow tape, but apparently there's 4,000 of them, so I haven't heard of most of them. But yeah, excited to get in the water. So putting our new classroom knowledge into practice, we're trying to extend our breath holds by lowering our heart rate and using the least amount of oxygen possible. Give me a sign. Good sign. Five more seconds and you can come out. The goal is a three minute static breath hold today. One. <laughs> two, three, four. Three minutes, two seconds. Yeah. Yay! Next, we had a blast with this underwater scooter, and yeah, I definitely thought I was the, a cool guy. Like, Look, mom, I can do a 360 underwater. <laughs> Worked on some equalization techniques, attempted to learn how to blow bubble rings. Yeah, fail. All right, there we go. Pepe shows us how it's done. Oh, and then dove through this amazing underwater cave swim through. Eesh, a little dark in there. So day two, free diving course in the books. What another epic one. See you tomorrow, for the next to note day. Day three of our free diving course here and today we're not really free diving in the morning but we came to Zapote Sonote because it has an eight and an 11 meter jumping platform. So freaking cool, let's check it out. You gonna jump today? You gonna jump today? Tell me about this cenote. So this is called cenote secret. And, uh... oh. <laughs> oh my wow. god! Oh my god! No! Don't fall in! Oh no! 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 Yo! It was a... It's a Back meerkat. It? Oh my... Looks like oh. a skunk. Oh my god. Alright, so that guy's gonna need help. Oh I can't believe you got that on camera. Pepe's gonna, save, gonna save him. Because there's no way he can get out. He gone. That was insane. <laughs> As we're introducing which snow they were at and what we're gonna do, these like two meerkats or whatever they were ran out of the jungle, one chasing the other, and the one just tumbles down into the cenote and you saw the footage of him swimming across to escape. That was wild. Today we're gonna do some vertical free diving on the line. This is a very nice setup because it is like a huge orange on the ground full of water and there's also a little hole that we're gonna use to access the huge orange of water. So this is all hollow on the ground full of water. All the way to 30 meters where there's a cloud of sulfur that is trapped between the fresh water and the salt water. Oh! And it <laughs> looks amazing.
So today at Maravilla Sonote, we learned various techniques of going down the line and then coming back up without kicking using fins and without wearing a mask. And finally, lowering my heart rate and breathing up for my 20 meter deep dive attempt. To 20 meters. How do you feel? Stuck. At the bottom, when I was trying to equalize, I had like no air in my lungs. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. Amazing. It felt like a long way back up. But it was good, good job. So, one thing I didn't expect when hitting the 20 meters, which is the level one maximum, as I was training, going to 10 a few times and going to 15, I noticed it was so hard to equalize because at that pressure, atmospheric pressure, your lung volume and the air in it has compressed down to 30 percent of what it normally is on the top so you barely have anything to work with pepe actually told me when you get down to 30 meters you physically can't even blow bubbles because your lungs are so compressed and the air is so compressed and then when you get down and look up it's like oh my gosh like 60 feet 20 meters to go but luckily as you're rising your lungs start to expand again and you get more air so it's actually not as bad on the way up i loved being able to challenge and push my mind and my body further than what I thought I could do. So can't wait to continue doing this and go to level two and get 30 meters because that's the maximum for level two. All the epic shots you saw underwater, 100% <laughs> of the shots were done by Pepe yeah. with that B60. What is that? What camera are we looking at here? 6500 Sony, Sony Alpha with a CNC okay. housing. It's pretty compact, pretty small for underwater. He holds his breath for like four minutes at a time and films. It's freaking, it's crazy. I gotta improve the lungs. Thank you.